guys. Uh, welcome back to the vlog. Guys and gals. So I know you, a lot of you probably got quadcopters for uh, Christmas yesterday. And I just wanted to do a short video. Kind of giving you some tips on how to get it up and flying. With some basic maneuvers. Um, and I'm going to try to film the st stick movements while I'm flying this thing too. So um, if you got a quadcopter like this one. An indoor one. Um, this is the uh, JJRC H36. Um, a lot of these quadcopters are equipped with a heading lock feature, which means that once you turn it on, no matter which direction the quadcopter is facing, it should still fly forward when you push forward, back when you push back, left when you push left, right when you push right. So it doesn't matter which way it's facing, but it'll still fly whatever way you push the the uh, <clears throat> right control stick. You might want to turn that on for your for your first few flights to kind of get a feel for how. The quadcopter moves forward, back, left, and right, how fast it moves, how it feels, how the throttle response works without trying to give it any rudder. And once you start, you know, building up some skills, then you can start adding in the rudder, take it out of heading lock, and then using the rudder, that will put you into your, your turns and your pirouettes and your funnels. So <clears throat> what I wanted to do was I just wanted to kind of point out some basic maneuvers. So pushing forward on the stick, we'll get it to go forward. Pushing back on the stick or pulling back on the stick will get it to come backward. Pushing right will get it to go right. Pushing left will get it to go left. So you just want to do that back and forth, right, left, over and over until you build up what is called a muscle memory or thumb memory. And basically you do it, you do it without thinking about it. So then once you've gotten <clears throat> the forward or tail in, I call it, forward, back, left, right, then you want to kind of turn it around and try to practice it flying nose in. So a good way to kind of remember nose in is what you want to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to push it forward to you and pull it away from you. Forward to you, pull it away from you. And then all you got to think is left is right, right is left. So if you want to go right, you press left. If you want to go left, you press right. And you just do that over and over again. And this is, like I said, this these stabilized squad coppers are great to do it because they don't get away from you. If you take your hands off the stick, they kind of sit still instead of getting squirrely on you. So, again, it's pull it away from you, push it forward toward you, and then left is right, right is left. The opposite direction. Push it away from you, pull it to you. Now, right is right, and left is left. So, just keep doing that over and over again, and eventually you'll start getting those in. Now, when it comes to rudder, <clears throat> in order to do rudder maneuvers, to do turns, you kind of want to give it, I can't do this with two hands because I'm holding the, the quad at the same time, but you want to kind of give it the same amount of left, well, right stick as you do rudder. You want to give it the same equal amounts to get it to do a nice, nice, smooth, fluid turn. So the more you bank it, you got to get the rudder going to keep the tail behind it. And that's how you do turns. So for <clears throat> counterclockwise turns, you're going to push to the left, and you're going to push the rudder to the left. For clockwise turns, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to push to the right, uh, forward, of course, forward and to the right, and then you push the rudder to the right. And you do have to actually give it a little bit forward and a little bit of right, so you're going to come push to the, to the top right corner or the top left corner to do those maneuvers. And then if you start doing backwards maneuvers, it's just the opposite. So you're going to go back and to the left to do left turn or counter or clockwise turns and back into the right to do the other turns but the stick movements are probably going to change on you so you instead of doing it ins or outs I guess to the same sides you're going to be doing ins and outs so it's kind of hard for me to explain that but I'll, I'll get it up in the air and do it and hopefully follow along with me you'll be able to kind of figure out and see some of these maneuvers so let's get it up in the air and cool thing about the JJRC is you just toss it and it will stabilize itself. So let's go. Oh, sorry, had it on. Had my thumb on the motor, so stall it. I don't know if that caught. If you, I don't know if you caught that because it kind of flew out of frame. But let's get those maneuvers on film now. So it's forward, back, forward, back, and take advantage of the novice mode on some of these quad coppers. Right now it's in novice mode, so it doesn't move that fast. And you get a feel of how fast it's going to move and how fast you got to respond before it hits that wall or hits that, that obstacle in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the distance. And then you want to go right and left and right and left, like I said. And now when you want, once you get those maneuvers down, you want to turn it inside so that it's facing you. Right? Just push it forward to you, pull it away from you, 
push it forward to you, pull it away from you, left is right, right is left, left is right, right is left. You just keep doing that over and over again until you get the basics down. And then you start working on your pirouettes maneuver. So that's just a basic pirouetting right there. Just giving it left stick. And this is giving it right stick. So right stick gets to go clockwise. Left stick gets to go counterclockwise. And once you get all those together and you feel confident, then you want to start pushing forward and giving it that little bit of rudder so that you get those turns. And so let's do some big circuits around the room. Right now I got it in novice mode so you can see it's nice and smooth and slow. I'm doing some circuits around the room. And as you can see I'm kind of pushing forward to the, the top left corner and giving it a little bit of left rudder while controlling the throttle. I'm doing these nice smooth circuits. And I am very bad at doing clockwise maneuvers because when you do clockwise maneuvers, all counterclockwise maneuvers all the time, you don't get the, the rudder movements in, but I'll try it. Oop. There you go. And you always can compensate for it if you kind of get a little bit sloppy by giving a little bit more rudder. So again, I'm bad at it. It's like I, it's like I drive NASCAR or something where I want to go in one direction all the time. <clears throat> there you go. I give it some nice big circuits with it. And if you feel like you're going to hit a wall, just turn it out of it and it'll fly out of it. So, and you got your circuits down, right? <clears throat> so let's try something a little bit more. I don't want to say it's complicated, but a lot of guys do what is called a funnel. And what you got to do with a funnel is you kind of got to chase the tail, the nose with the tail. Which means you got to give it a forward stick. And then get it into a pirouette at the same time. And with these duck fans, sometimes they stall out so you can't give it too much forward momentum. But the more left stick you give it, and left uh, right stick, you, the, the tighter the funnel will be. And right now I got it in novice mode. So let me get out of novice mode and then show you how, how crazy, I don't want to say crazy, but how fast it can be. So now I'm going to go into pro, uh, advanced mode. And let's go with some, some funnels with it in advanced mode. See how fast it spins now? There you go. So I'm giving it forward, left, rudder, and aileron. And then, like I said, you can come out of it into a pirouette. Oop, stalled on me. Come out of it into a pirouette. And then, then you can do the same thing backwards. Now watch these back maneuvers. Okay, so back maneuvers is almost sort of the same, but you're pulling back on the stick. So I'm going back on the stick, but I'm going out on the rudder and out on the aileron. So I'm pulling to the outer corners instead of pushing to the inner corners. Or the same corners. All right? So that's a back maneuver. So you want to buy, fly some back... Some back, some back circuits. Pull back on the stick to the bottom right corner and give it left rudder and fly those big circuits until you get the hang of them. And then what you do is you just kind of come out of it and fly forward. So you transition from forward to reverse circuits. Again, you pirouette out of it and then go backward. Nice and smooth maneuvers until you get the hang of it. Oh, almost hit a lamp there, almost hit the couch, but that's kind of how you do it. And like I said, and eventually you will be flying around or zipping around your living room, going behind televisions, under couches, under chairs, and you really got to manage that throttle. That throttle, a little bit of throttle gets it going up, a little bit comes down, but if you kind of go up and then drop it with a, with a quad copter like, like this one, it really doesn't have enough power to catch itself. So... It might bounce off the floor, but again, I love the JJ36 because it can bounce off a wall and it will not damage itself. A, a nice little fall to the ground won't hurt it. And you really can't, I mean, you can break it, but you really can't damage it learning how to fly. So, let's try it again. Let's try some funnels. Forward funnels, both sticks to the left and forward, or both sticks to the right and forward. If I wanted to flip them up, I just go the other direction. I'll start off in this direction. Both sticks to the right and forward. That gets me some funnels. All right. Backward is almost it's opposite, but you're going down. Ooh. Oh, bounces off the wall there. So there we go. Let's try that again. You're gonna go backwards and out. So you're gonna go bottom corners to the left and to the right. I'm going to get out in front of the camera a little bit. There you go. Bottom corners. To the opposite, bottom to the opposite corner for, for backwards funnels. 
or actually that's one direction funnels. Now unless you want to fly it in a different, you want to do funnels in a different direction, it's, it's different. It's, it's, in, it's inside corners. So it's inside corners and outside corners. Sorry about that. Oh, stalled again. Again, I don't do those maneuvers to the other direction that often. So it's inside corners for, I guess, clockwise backward funnels, which are kind of harder to do for me. And then outside corners for counterclockwise backwards funnels or backward circuits. Oh, hit the couch on that one. And that's your basic maneuvers. Then once you get that down, like I said, you'll be ready to go into racing quads and zipping this thing around. So I lost power on that. So uh, give me a second here. So before I go, remember, giving away the JJRC Elfie on January 1st. All you got to do to get that or be part of that giveaway is be subscribed and leave a comment on the uh, review video. I've also got about six more quadcopters coming. I've got two very cool uh, Airhawks speeder bikes. Um, a couple of, I believe they're called Fury B H36s that I want to review, and a couple of hexacopters, which I can't believe they're WL toys. Um, just not having the best luck getting them from overseas, I guess, because of the holiday shipping. So they will be coming in the next couple of months, if not sooner. Um, so stay tuned and follow my Twitter, which is Two Ton Big Ball, just like my title name or my channel name, and I will be tweeting out um, <clears throat> random giveaways for uh, JJRC H36s. Um, Again, thanks for following the channel. I'll get back to you. Bye.